All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here at the review bench getting ready to do a review on this guy right here. This is a watch made by a company called MTM USA Special Ops. My buddy Jake sent this out to the channel. Thought I'd be interested in taking a look at this because I am kind of a watch guy. Uh, in the last couple of years, you may have seen me wearing anything from a tag to a Breitling. Um, this guy right here, this is my uh, Garmin. This is the Phoenix 5XL Sapphire. And just for shits and giggles, because they said this is the one of the ultimate in, uh, what do you call it, tactical special ops. <laughs> I had a G-Shock one day and I went to a, a uh, commissioning ceremony and there was a young lieutenant who was wearing like a fake G-Shock and I said, no, 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 no. So I actually took my G-Shock off and gave it to him as kind of a, uh, uh, you know, get, 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 get your ass together. And he was a Marine, going to be a pilot. So actually, uh, to start this whole thing off, I actually ordered a new G-Shock because I, uh, some people say the ultimate in tactical watches i actually believe that the g-shock this particular model right here is probably one of the best for the money now this guy right here you got everything under the kitchen sink and it tethers to your phone and does all kinds of crazy stuff almost too complicated so anyway back to the story jake sent this thing out and i have actually been wearing it probably for about two or three months just to get a feel for it so i can see what's going on part of the thing with watches is you want them to be comfortable so there's some pros and cons to this guy so what we're going to do is we're going to open it up now watches aren't everything uh not, <laughs> watches are different for different people uh some people wear ten thousand dollar watches some people wear uh ninety dollar watches some people uh it's it's all relative this retails for about four hundred and fifty dollars mtm the, they've been around for about 20 years 405 405 dollars i'm gonna put the link to their website down below but it comes in this really cool uh, case. This is kind of like a Pelican deal here. It's got a purge lift here. Okay, so we're going to purge our air. Remember with a We'll open it up. Uh, first of all, just a couple of really quick things. Uh, they're based out of California. One of the things that I did see uh, was a video. I did my research, and one of the guys was like, this thing was a cheap piece of crap made in China. You probably have 30 bucks. Uh, I called, and they assured me that the movement is Swiss made and they are assembled right here in the USA. So according to the company, that's what they told me. It does come with a three year warranty. Uh, you got this really cool box right here. We'll go ahead and open that up. Uh, got some cool tools. I'm going to show you the reason why we got these tools. Here's your warranty card. It comes with a three year non-transferable warranty. Not sure why it's non-transferable. Uh, real quickly, you've got your uh, directionals here. Directionals. Directions. Very simple watch, though, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, basically, I think that's it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pull the watch out. And like I said, I have worn this guy for two or three months, and I actually like it. Uh, there's a couple things. My vision is not what it used to be. So uh, what's really nice is you've got these big dial hands, and this is the GMT model, which means it has a 12, a 24-hour hand, on it as well as a 12 hour you got a second hand uh, movement on there and the date very cool so let's go over some of the details we'll bring that camera in and I'll show you what it's all about stand by it does come with this protective covering on it and when you do reviews you always try to make sure that it, you when you open it and you do that you want to ensure that you know your little sticky things come in let's bring that camera in here we go all right, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the specifications on this. It's real easy. We, do, we just get on the computer here and we go ahead and dial it in. It's got a 42 millimeter diameter bezel all the way around, 12 and a half millimeters in thickness, 100 meters in waterproofing, or what do you call it, uh, water resistance. So I guess all you tactical guys, if you want to go scuba diving, you can go probably as far as you want to go. Um, three and 0.7 ounces. It's not bad. Also, a really cool thing is it does come in multiple colors. So if you go to the website, if you don't like this gray, I'm a big fan of the gray uh, just because it does stand out a little bit. Uh, I will tell you this also, the hands, these guys are lit up at night. I love that because when I'm sleeping and I want to see what time it is, I don't have to put, pull it all the way up to my eye like I do have like the Breitling or the Tag. Uh, this guy right here comes with a lit uh, 
LED light that shines, or it just lights up the whole back. I actually do have a couple of these things, but the, the LED lights are so bright that you can uh, light up the area around you. They've got some infrared lighting, I think, or something like that. Big thing for me, uh, if you ever notice when you hold a uh, watch, you can hold it angled like that. If you don't have a sapphire crystal on it, it goes hazy. Uh, Invicta watches, if you have one of those things, hold it like that and see how hazy it is. You can't even actually see through it at an angle. This movement is a Swiss Ronda 505. Uh, the bezel on the outside uh, is unidirectional or one way as it should be, so you don't, you're not able to move it back. But I want to show you something right here. Right here. It has an internal bezel that can turn, and it is unit or omnidirectional, so you can turn it like that. So if you need to track something, you can go ahead and use this right here. The uh, way of adjustment of the timepiece, you just back this guy right here out all the way. You pop it all the way out, and you can adjust your time. Now, the GMT, you see the little little red one right there. That is your 12 or your 24 hour uh, indicator. So if somebody says, you know, it's 1300 hours, you can go ahead and do it like that. Um, then you can click it in like that. One more click in. Well, hold on. I passed it. And you can adjust the date, which is really nice because some of these guys, you can't even figure out how to adjust the date. The G Shock, you got to have a doctorate to figure it out, or you got to go on YouTube to figure out how to. <laughs> actually adjust the time frame and then one more click back in and well you can adjust the GMT time frame well I can't figure out how to do it there's your what's today today's the 30th boom we'll go ahead and leave that there all right well anyway that's the case uh, you can adjust that thing this <laughs> overall I like the color I like the thickness uh, it does come where you can take the little uh, rods out for your uh, wristband. And here comes the cons. And we'll, we'll go back into some other things. The cons. I'm not a big fan of this wristband. All it is is a piece of nylon. Everybody's like, ballistic nylon, military-grade nylon. Well, guys, uh, in my opinion, and I'll show you what it looks like on the hand right there. Okay. Uh, when I go to put this thing on, it... Uh, if you're in the dark or something, you've got to get one of these holes and you really got to wear it out. Look at the hardware though on it. Nice machined CNC'd. I'm not sure why they put all these loops on it. Maybe so you can do that. Uh, I would um, recommend uh, tethering this, not tethering it, but looping it back around it to the back side. And then, you know, <clears throat> And then you get a really comfortable watch. But for me, I mean, I'm just, I'm real particular about my watch bands. Uh, this, you do have the availability to get other bands with this. So you're not stuck with just the, uh, the nylon strap band. Um, so another thing is it comes with these tools. Oh, no, there we go. And you can take this thing apart. Now I've got my, uh, what are, where are the tools at? All right, so we got an Allen wrench here. And then there's a, another Allen wrench, it appears to be, or a torque head right there, I'm not sure. Um, but what you're able to do is you can remove these screws right here. You can back these out for what they call the, uh, I guess, a plunger bar or something like that. And I got these things tightened up really good. So what happens... <clears throat> You can pull these things out, you can remove the strap, you can put other uh, wristbands on it or design it the way you want. I would, because of this is supposed to be a tactical watch, right? I would recommend, uh, if you get one of these things, go ahead and pull these out, put a little blue lock tight on them because I was able to back that screw out very easily. Uh, same thing here. These screws right here are the same way. All right, supposedly each one of them is numbered. I will tell you this, uh, the back side of it is got some really cool stuff on it. You got the, uh, the uh, dagger, you know, for special ops back there. You see it? But in any case, 
Uh, really cool watch. I'm not disappointed with it. I think I'm going to wear it this weekend uh, because I will be hanging out with a bunch of Special Forces guys. And we'll see if they uh, what their thoughts are on it. And, uh, you know, their claim to fame is they've been in the community for a long time. And like I said, uh, we, there are a couple reviews out there where some guys were like, these things are made in China. Or I think that guy actually got a, probably maybe got a fake or a clone. But I will tell you this. And that's only another reason. These holes are not big enough for that damn little belt loop right there. But not a bad looking watch. I like the little dagger there. I love the color. It's uh, bead blasted. Each one is individually numbered. Uh, you, you can't lose. Um, raised lettering on the inside right here. And then uh, it's just uh, overall, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, like I said, I'm going to wear the daylights out of it. And I might order or ask them to send me one of the other bands. That's like I said, the only complaint I have for a watch that costs $400 is this is this has got to go. Give me something a little bit more refined, okay? With that being said, guys, or even a rubber band, okay? Like, similar to this or the G-Shock. But overall, I'd have to say, uh, watches are relative to anything else. Uh, you can pay $200, $250 for an optic, or you can pay $800 for an optic. It depends on what you want. You could pay $5 for a knife, or you can get like this Microtex Scarab 2. This is a $500 knife. It just depends on what you want. So at all levels. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are about this watch right here down below. Uh, I'll put the link to the uh, website. It is, uh, what is the website? mtmwatch.com and I'll put the link specifically to this uh, particular watch. They do have a ton of other watches. You can custom make a watch, design it for your specifications. Uh, they've got them anywhere from like I said, four oh five to you know two or three thousand dollars and up. So with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Look at that guy. That's pretty nice. Also, a big shout out to the guys over there at Callaway Ballistics. Support the channel. Uh, they sent these out, and we'll be testing these guys out. 6.5 Creedmoor, 140 grain ELDs. And boys and girls, I just finished up about 200 of these guys. 77 grain, Sierra Boattail Hollow Point. And uh, all matched brass, so we'll see how well that turns out. But yeah, that's it. KB32, I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Look at that. It's kind of like the, the shopping channel. Oh. <laughs>